This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive. And it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. So last week, we had another Pioneer poll, because Pioneer Stu is still a super super awesome format and i'm still super excited to play it and the winner in a fairly tight vote was new perspective so today we are heading to pioneer to play new perspectives combo a deck that the goal is simple maybe you saw this deck in standard a while ago or the standard version of it it's very similar but the idea of this deck is hopefully you survive long enough to play new perspectives and you proceed to immediately win the game that is the goal of the deck new perspectives hopefully equaling instant win so a quick reminder before we break down new new perspectives for Pioneer. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Against the Odds in general, it would be amazing of you. If you can take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk new perspectives, starting with new perspectives as well. So new perspectives, six mana, so a lot of mana. When it comes into play, we get to draw three cards, nice little bonus, and then as long as we have at least seven cards in our hand, we can pay zero rather than pay cycling costs. So that is the main ability of this. So the goal of this deck is kind of threefold. First off, we got to find a new perspective. That is most important. Without our new perspectives, our deck doesn't really do anything. So we got to find and resolve a new perspectives. Secondly, we got to make sure that when we resolve new perspectives, we got to have at least four cards in hand. So then when we draw with new perspectives, we get up to seven and can cycle for free. And then the cycling is what wins us the game. So our deck needs a critical mass of cyclers for the combo to work. So how do you actually combo off with new perspectives? Well, the most important combo piece is Vizier of Tumbling Sands and a very powerful, very good new addition in Lotus Field. So Vizier of Tumbling Sands allows us to cycle and untap a permanent. The trick here is, once we have new perspectives out, Vizier cycles for zero mana. It is a free cycler. If we have our Lotus Field, which hopefully we will, we're playing the full four copies, we're able to essentially generate three mana when we cycle Vizier of Tumbling Sands, because we can tap our Lotus Field for three mana, untap it for free with Vizier while cycling to draw a card along the way, so it produces a ton of extra mana once we get going. That's the main combo of the deck. And then, to make it go even further, we have Shadow of the Grave, which is kind of our finishing combo piece. So ideally, what we want to do is play new perspectives, cycle, 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 everything we can possibly cycle, cycle into hopefully all of our Viziers, and then we can uh, tap Lotus Field for mana, untap it for free with Vizier, do that again, do that again we'll have like 12 mana floating or nine mana depending on how many viziers we actually find and then we could use two of that mana to cast shadow of the grave shadow of the graves returns to our hand all cards that were discarded or cycled this turn so that means we're getting back everything we cycled, including all our Viziers, which then we can loop again with Lotus Field to tap for mana, untap it for free, tap it for mana, untap it for free. So the combo, assuming we hold on to our Viziers, which is what you got to do with this deck, once we get new perspectives down, we can make, ugh, I don't even know, 30, 40 extra mana in a turn, a ridiculous amount of extra mana by theoretically cycling through our entire deck. And then for winning the game, we got two different plans. Plan A is in our main deck, and that is just Jace Wielder of Mysteries. Since we can cycle essentially infinitely, we cycle into we literally run out of cards in our deck once we get going with new perspectives eventually we'll cycle into our jace wielder of mysteries with the mana we're generating from tapping and untapping our lotus field with vizier we can cast jace and then just keep cycling and as soon as jace is on the battlefield we can cycle 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 for free get to zero cards in our library win with the static ability teferi is just in the deck to protect jace we don't really need to vary it helps protect us from counter spells in general which is one of the weaknesses of the deck the combo is very good and very consistent but something like a single counter spell can ruin it. Teferi, as we generate all this extra mana, we will not only draw into our Jace, but we'll draw into our Teferi. We can use some of our mana to cast Teferi. If it resolves, great. Then we know we're free to play Jace. If our opponent counters Teferi, theoretically, they won't have another counter or the mana to counter Jace. So Teferi is just to protect Jace. If that plan doesn't work, we got another plan, which is one copy of Fae of Wishes, which can snag an approach of the second suds from our sideboard, along with a bunch of other stuff, but approaches the finisher of the deck. So Fae, we can 
just wish out of our sideboard. Get the Approach of the Second Sons using some of that Vizier Lotus Field mana. Cast Approach of the Second Sons. Goes back in our deck, then we just cycle, cycle, cycle for free using some more of our mana. Once we cycle back into Approach, cast it again, win the game on the spot with Approach of the Second Sons. Uh, so that's another way we can go about winning the game if we need a backup plan. I think having two ways is important. If we were just on the Jace plan and we like drew our Jace and our opponent thought seized our Jace or something, then we wouldn't really have a legitimate way to win the game. So having a backup plan for winning the game, very important in this deck. So those are the finishers. The rest of the deck is all about having cyclers. So if we don't play enough cyclers in the deck, our combo will fizzle. The way the combo fizzles is we play new perspectives, we cycle a bunch of times, we don't hit our Shadow of the Graves, we don't hit any Viziers, and we draw like a bunch of non-cycling things. Then everything falls apart. So the trick to building around new perspectives is making sure as much of our deck as possible has cycling. Also, playing as many cards that are actually relevant magic cards as possible. So, for example, Chef It Monitor, not the best ramp spell in most decks. We can cycle it, tutor out a land, put it on the battlefield. Uh, but in this deck, since we care so much about having cycling cards, it's the perfect ramp spell for this deck. We can get to four mana, we can cycle Chef It Monitor, get a land for free, theoretically untap new perspectives, proceed to win the the game. Then we have a bunch of interactive cyclers. Sweltering Suns gives us a cycling wrath, essentially, especially against aggro. Haze of Pollen, a cycling fog. Renewed Faith, cycling life gain for aggro. So a bunch of stuff against aggro creature decks. Cast out, cycling, and removal gets rid of stuff like Leyline of the Void, which would shut down our Shadow of the Graves and our combo. Sensor, cycling counter spell, Dissenter's Deliverance. Meh, sometimes you run into artifact-based decks like Affinity or Hardened Scales. Good there. Plus, we can just cycle it away. Otherwise, Hieroglyphic Illumination. It's a cycler. It also serves another important role of the deck, which is when we cast new perspectives, as I mentioned in the intro, we need at least four cards in our hand because if we don't have seven cards in our hand, uh, we aren't able to cycle for free. Hieroglyphic Illumination is a way to rebuild our hand. If we get thought seized, if we have to cast spells, uh, we got to be really careful about what spells we cast because if we cast too many spells, we'll get too low on cards. New perspectives won't get us up to seven. We won't be able to combo off. Uh, Hieroglyphic Illumination, just a way to refuel if we need a couple extra cards in hand. If we don't need the extra cards in hand, we can always just cycle it away. The other way we get a bunch of cyclers in the deck is in the mana base. So we just have a ton of cycling lands which give us mana in the early game. Yes, they're tapped, a little bit annoying, but then they help make sure our combo doesn't fizzle. If we played a normal mana base, we would just cycle into non-cyclers way too much, fizzle our combo. So having lands that we can cycle with new perspectives, very, very key. Otherwise, as many basic lands as possible because we need to stag them with our chef it monitor. Uh, and also having some untapped lands, pretty helpful. As far as the sideboard, we talked about a Approach of the Second Suds. That's in our sideboard, but basically it's a finisher that we get with Fae of Wishes. These cards, Leyline of Sanctity, Fairy Dovin's Veto, and Drake Haven, are to help protect our combo. Leyline protects us from Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize, or Duress, or whatever discard on new perspectives, really good against our deck. So if we're up against a black deck, we normally are just bringing these in to try to protect our new perspectives from our opponent's discard spells. Fairy Dovin's Veto helps us fight through counter spells primarily, which is another weakness of the deck. We do all this cycling, all this work, we find our new perspectives, we go to cast it, our opponent casts a counter spell, everything just kind of falls apart on the spot. So protection from counter spells is important. Drakehaven is kind of also protection from counter spells in a weird way. We can sneak it in under counters, and then we can win without having our new perspectives. We can just cycle, make some drakes, cycle, make some drakes. Uh, so Drakehaven fills a role there. And remember, we have Fae of Wishes, so eventually we can snag these cards in game one as well. Approach, we mentioned, that's our finisher. Supreme Verdict to Center's Deliverance, give us more removal. Graft Digger Cage for Graveyard Axe, Pithy Needle for Planeswalkers and the like. Ashiok, very important against Hour of Promise strategies, Field of the Dead ramp strategies. Uh, plus, it's more Graveyard Hate, which is fine in other matchups. Narset, if we run into, like, Chain Card Draw together, Control decks or Phoenix Style decks. And that is New Perspectives Combo for Pioneer. And that's our Gets Odds deck for this week. So, let's jump into the gameplay, see how New Perspectives keeps up in the Pioneer format. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. All right, against the odds time, we are playing some new perspectives combo in Pioneer, and this hand is fine. A little bit awkward uh, that we that we don't have blue mana for cycling like sensor or casting it, but but Shevet Monitor will get us there eventually, and then we can start cycling stuff. Uh, yeah, scatter groves go. Uh, opponent, forest, and 
Aboreal Grazer. All right. It's ramp time. Desert of the Indomitable. Well, Canyon Slew. Go. Step one is get the mana we need for the Sheffit Monitor, which gets mana we need for other things. And then hopefully we find... Yeah, Blast Zone's not super relevant. Then hopefully we find a new Perspectives. The good news is our opponent can't really interact with us, I don't think. Hopefully. Not meaningfully, at least. Opponent gets a Desert. Shadow. Well, all right. Play land, pass the turn. Yeah, missing blue mana is definitely awkward. Our best bet is to cycle into an untap land for Chef and Monitor. Another Rejuvenator. We do need to win before our opponent starts casting Eldrazi. Ooh, whiffs? Okay, thank you, Rejuvenator. Once upon a time, well, let's cycle Sweltering Suns. Untap land. All right, that's not an untap land. It is something we can cycle, though. Opponent gets a... Sanctum of Ugin. All right, definitely an Eldrazi deck. Thankfully, our opponent still needs a bit more mana before they can Eldrazi us. Gets in. Oh, boy. We really need to hit a land here. Really, really, really. Any land. All right, Fetid Pools. That is a land. Pass the turn. That does get us to Chef It Monitor. Now we're getting to the point of the game where, where we're going to need a new perspective. That is the next step. Opponent, Sanctum of Ugin. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Our promise. All right, so zombies are incoming. Are we going to be fast enough? Can we find... Oh, this also could mean... One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means our opponent's one mana away from Ulamog, and Ulamog does beat us. And we're dead very quickly, oh no, to this board. We have two turns? Okay, well, we'll see. Potentially two turns. Opponent goes attacking, hits us. All right, deck. All right, deck. Be good. Vizier. Well, one, two, three, four. Chef it monitor. Cycle it. Grab an island. Draw illumination. Cycle sensor. Oh, my goodness. We are so close. Oh, my goodness. This. Oh, my goodness. If we draw an untap land, we probably win the game. If we draw Lotus Field, we should definitely win the game. If we don't, we might die this turn. Opponent gets in. Oh, this is so ridiculously close. Lotus Field is the best draw. I mean, this is assuming we don't get Eldrazi. If somehow we get Ulamog, then it's over. Ugin. Okay, that's fine. All right, this is it. We just got to win the game this turn. That is 100% it. We found the new perspectives. We need to untap land or Lotus Field off the top. Down to four. Opponent passes. Renewed Faith. Well, we... Cycle Vizier, untap land, into, come on deck, come on deck, tap land, mm, 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 mm. um, uh, cycle illumination, cycle Vizier, untap a land, yeah, 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 oh, wow, all right, yep, Ooh, one land short of winning the game. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Yeah, run it back. I mean, we, we were a land short. We had it. We had everything we needed to somehow raise a very strong mono green ramp draw. That is Field of the Dead Nutter Butters. Uh... Just uh, winning on, like, turn five, but we couldn't find a Lotus Field, and in all honesty, we don't have that many untapped lands, which is a a bit of a concern, so that is a issue. Oh, oh, that was so close. Well, we get to play first. Let's see what our hand looks like. Oh, uh, well, we cannot keep a zero lander. Oh, boy. All right. I mean, we got to keep this, although I am very much not excited about this hand. We can put a Shadow of the Grave to the bottom. Yeah, Scatter Groves go. Yeah, this is not a not a good hand for our deck. Opponent plays a forest. Passes. Well, mountain go. Oasis for our opponent. Passes. Well, we're going to start cycling. Cycle Renewed Faith. Hopefully draw land. Monitor. Eh, okay. Play a Lotus Field. Lotus Field is nice. That fixes a lot of our mana issues. Pass the turn. I mean, we do have new perspectives. We just have to get to the point of getting it down. Opponent. Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. 
and Elvish Rejuvenator. Looking for a land. Uh, we would love to just draw land here. Land for Chef at Monitor would be ideal. Wow, whiffs. Ponet's Elvish... Man, Ponet's Tiger is showing the downside of Rejuvenator. Hmm. All right, we need to cycle. We need to hit land. Um, yeah, let's cycle. Play the eyelid past the turn. Well, we hit a land. This gets us to Chef at Monitor. All right, Rejuvenator. Opponent gets a land. Plays another land. Gets in. Hits us. Well, Chef at Monitor. Get a land. Draw Sensor. Cycle Sensor. All right, play Farmland. Pass the turn. Well, we get to go for it next turn. We have the mana. We have the new perspectives. Blast Zone. That's not going to stop us. Opponent. Our promise, gonna make some zombies, that's fine, because hopefully we win the game this turn. We need to hit a Vizier. We haven't used any yet. We have one, we have at least, ugh, we have at least three cycles. Plus we have, plus we have our new perspective straws. All right, we'll see. I don't think they have a one mana way to stop us. We draw fetid pools, well. All right, step one, new perspectives. Draw some cards. Step two, start cycling. Grab a swamp. Eh, chef and monitor. And now I think we win. I don't think we're gonna fizzle from here. Grab a planes. Uh, cycle fetid pools. Cast out. Chef at monitor. Get our last land. Well, last basic land. Uh, haze of pollen. Illumination. Illumination. Farmland. Haze of pollen. Slew. Scattered Groves, Cast Out, Fetid Pools, um, Vizier. Opponent was asking if they're dead, and I said, hopefully. <laughs> like, I think it's, like, theoretically possible that we fizzle from here, but it seems very unlikely. Shadow of the Grave. Go back to cycling. Uh, cycle. 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 Float for blue, cycle. Cycle, cycle. We just need to find our Jace now. It's got to be here somewhere. Jace, cycle, cycle, and one more for the cycle. Whoo, Jace coming through. All right, we raced up that game. We were very close in. We were very close in game one, too. Very, very, very close. Oh, man. All right, can we do it with our opponent on the play? Actually, hmm. <clears throat> We won that one while sideboarding very poorly because we're <laughs> the reason Ashiok is in our sideboard is for this matchup. So, uh, got lucky, got lucky that we won despite sideboarding poorly. So we'll bring in the two Ashioks and run it back. Ashiok is really good if we can get it down early enough because it stops all of our opponents. Uh, it stops all of our opponents' land tutoring stuff. <sighs> all right. I mean, I guess we keep this. Hopefully we hit some lands. <laughs> we got new perspectives though. Podet going to start with Once Upon a Time. It's very hard to mulligan with this deck. Unless your end is like literally horrible. It's hard to mulligan because you need a a critical mass of lands. Uh and you need a critical mass of cards in hand for new perspectives. And you want to cast some spells occasionally. Like, this is a game where casting a Sweltering Suns might actually be pretty important. Well, Canyon Slew. Ugh. All right. We, we, really need, we really need to draw land. We really need to draw land. Canyon Slew, go. If we draw a land, then we get to start cycling these three mana cyclers. And that should get us to Chef It Monitor. Come on, let's let's see another whiff of this. <laughs> Elvish Rejuvenator. It's been so bad for our opponent. Show us whiff number three, opponent. Let's see it. Whiff number three. Add. Aw. Yeah, that's a that's like a double hit. All right. Land. Land. Preferably untapped. Oh. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, this is so bad. Well, all right. Uh, Fay of Wishes. Better than discarding. Oh. Oh, not good. Not good time to be missing land drops. Opponent, Radiant Fountain. Ooh. Oh, we have a hand that has what we want, too. There's our promise. Yeah. Well, now we're in super, super duper bad shape. We can survive the zombies for a minute, potentially. 
who scavenger grounds. That's also annoying. Um, we can potentially si uh, survive the zombies for a minute, but if our opponent can get down Eldrazi, then things very quickly fall apart. Well, I mean, we do not have a choice but to cycle Vizier because we are not hitting land drops. Well, Illumination, add you to the cycling list. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Well, two lands at the top 13, nothing we can do. Ay, that was unfortunate. Oh, wow. Oh, game one, we lost by exactly one turn, potentially by having land troubles. And then game two, we did what we do. Game three, magic gods frowned upon us. Oh, oh, so close. Oh, my goodness. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Against the odds time, we are playing some new perspectives in Pioneer. And, yeah, I mean, this ends fine. We have the new perspectives, bunch of cycling stuff. Uh, cycling stuff that's especially helpful against aggro, so we'll see. See what our opponent's up to. Lotus Field is nice. What you got, opponent? Once upon a time, Botanical Sanctum. Ginger Brute. Okay, well, uh, save us the Sweltering Suns. Hopefully there's no scissors or we're in a pretty bad shape. Opponent gets it and hits us. Down to 19. And passes. Uh, hmm. Canyon Slew, go. So we're going to be able to Wrath, well, Sweltering Suns, not Wrath, on turn four. I think we got to mostly hope our opponent is going wide uh, and not making this into one huge threat because that's going to be problematic. Okay, Ruins of Orin Reef, opponent combat. Gets in, gets in, hits us. Yup. Down to 18. We draw. Ooh, a mountain. Hmm. Okay. Let's play the mountain past the turn. This actually gives us the option to Wrath next turn if we want to. Or if we don't need the Sweltering Suns, we can... We can just, uh, Lotus Field. Want to hold on to as many Cyclers as possible. A little worried about this blue mana. Oh, please not Scissors. Oh, not Scissors. Emery? Show, show us an Emery. Okay, Ballista, sure, huh, and Emery. Okay, well, this uh, Sweltering Sun is going to be very good. Wow, opponent mills a ton of powerful artifacts. Oh, this is fine, though. Opponent's down to two cards and tapped out. So we just get to play this island and sweep the board. We don't even really need to cycle at the moment because, because we have uh, new perspectives in hand. So Sweltering Sun sweep the board. Pass the turn. That buys us some time, and once we new perspectives, hopefully we win. We're going to try to win. Going to need to hit some Viziers. Sparring Construct. Approved. And Ornithopter. Yeah. And Grows Ornithopter. I guess another Sweltering Suns would be fine. Opponent passes. I guess they're still concerned that our opponent could have a counter. Um, yeah, let's float our mana. Lotus Field. Sack a couple lands. Ah, uh, do we want to cycle... Yeah, let's cycle, let's cycle a Canyon Slew. Yeah, they're right. That's another Sweltering Suns. Sure. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, the nice thing about Sweltering Suns, we would like one more untap land, but the nice thing about Sweltering Suns is if our opponent has a counter, I assume that's going to eat the counter. Steal Overseer. Oh, yes, yes. We, <laughs> we might not even need a new perspective. We might just cast two Sweltering Suns and win this game. Opponent gets it, hits us. Sure. Down to 15. We draw sensor. Now play Sweltering Suns. Fatted Pools. Pass the turn. So we can't win this turn unless we draw an untapped land, which we don't have too many of. Ginger Brew. Yup. Opponent. Combat. Attacks. But we should be able to win the following turn. Yeah, uh, hits us down to 13. These two sweepers have bought us a ton of time. Untapped land. For the win. Ooh, another new perspectives. All right, well, play Irrigated Farmland. Pass the turn. All right, well, next turn's the turn where we get to go for it. If we hit Viziers, we should win. Uh, I mean, if our opponent has random counters, then that could go... Ooh, tapping out? Phyrexian Revoker. That's fine. We don't have anything that that's actually good against. And that means our opponent's tapped out, which means we're going to get to new perspectives and try to combo off. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Like, in theory, the idea of this deck is if you can live long enough to resolve new perspectives with enough hand, uh, cards in hand to have seven, that you should win the game. That is that is the theory of the deck. We'll see. We could fizzle. We need to hit Viziers to untap mana, uh, mostly. Down to 11. Well, the time has come. 
Opponent name's Teferia. That's fine. We do have a Teferia. Ooh, Chef at Monitor. That's good. Well, one, two, three, four, and five, six. New perspectives. Draw some cards. Uh, cycle Chef at Monitor. Get a island. Cycle Haze of Fallen. There's a Vizier. That's what we wanted. Scattered Grove. Scattered Grove. Se oh, another Vizier. Okay. Cycle. Sense. Uh, there is a Chef at Monitor. Cycle it, get another land, and now we should be we should be in the business of winning this game. Uh, draw a card, we hit a forest, now we cycle Vizier, untap Lotus Field, play a forest, new perspectives to draw cards. There's Shadow of the Grave. Uh, so now we go back to cycling, cycle, and now we should we should be set to win this game. Chef and Monitor, always try to cycle Chef and Monitor first so we don't draw into all of our basics. Uh, illumination, Renewed Faith, sure, gain a couple life. Uh, illumination, Haze of Pollen, Dissenter's Deliverance. There's another Shadow of the Grave. All right, we just mostly want to hit more more viziers. The more viziers we can hit before we fire off Shadow of the Grave, the easier this is. And we'll hit our Jace eventually. Oh, there's Fey of Wishes. Well, cycle, untap Lotus Field. Cycle, cycle. So now we need to Shadow, get back all of our cycling stuff. Vizier, and I don't even think we need to do anything else. I think we just cycle, we'll draw into our Jace eventually. Uh, cast Jace, keep cycling, and win. I don't even think we need we need to do anything fancy here. Cycle, 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 cycle. Have we hit Jace yet? No. I mean, we will hit it. We can cycle through our entire deck here. Wow, this went pretty well. This went about as well as it could. Cycle, 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 cycle. Man, Jace is at the very bottom of our deck, isn't it? Vizier. Uh, we'll tap this. Cycle. Untap. All right, there's Jace. Play Jace. Uh, cycle, cycle, and one more cycle, and that looks like game to me. Whoo! New perspectives! Taking out aggro pretty dominatingly! Ho 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 ho! Okay! Okay, okay, that went super well. That went as well as well could possibly be. <laughs> okay, uh, that felt super good. Well, uh, hopefully we keep hitting our ass. <laughs> um... Do we want to change anything? Hmm. Probably want another Dissenter's Deliverance. Maybe bring in the Drake Haven? Making a bunch of blockers does seem... Does seem somewhat relevant in this matchup. Opponent, since they're in blue, definitely can have counters in their sideboard, which is a concern. We want all of our sweepers. Let's go down... Let's cut the couple of sensors. Do we need the Veto? I mean, in theory, if we get things set up, our opponent needs multiple counters to beat us, because worst case, we can we should have enough mana to like Fey of Wishes from our sideboard. Alright, run it like that. Well, opponents on the play for game number two, but so far so good. That was a good new perspectives performance. Um, hmm. This hand's less exciting, but it's very difficult to actually mulligan with new perspectives. We gotta trust that we can cycle into what we need. Because we gotta have those seven cards in hand, and we probably gotta spend at least a card or two on on sweepers if we draw into them. Opponent once upon a time's into breeding pool, plays breeding pool, and one aggressive artifact, one drop do you have today, opponent? Ooh, hardened scales. Alright. Sure. That is a smidge frightening. Opponent passes. Haze of Pollen. Well, play Yeah, play Scattered Groves. We might need to cast Druid's Deliverance at some point. Uh opponent. Stone Coil Servant. Yeah. Ooh, but only one land. That's good news. Opponent passes. Well, play Canyon Slew. Pass the turn. Chef and Monitor is not bad. Opponent, combat. You're going to hit us for two. Ooh. Wow. No attacks. Interesting. I don't know what our opponent's afraid of, but... Ginger Brute. Eh, let's see what we draw. An untap land would still be nice at some point. New, uh, new Perspectives is good. Well, let's... Let's kill Stone Coil Serpent. Lotus Field. Sack a couple lands, pass the turn. All right, come on, untap land for Chef at Monitor. Pwn it. This does open us up to getting scissors, but Stone Coil again. Also means we could just draw Sweltering Suns, and that would be insane. Gets in, hits us. Sure, down to 19. Untap land, one time. Another Lotus Field. That's not the most ideal. Well, play Canyon Slew. Pass the turn. All right, there's land number two for our opponent. 
Metallic Mimic. Sure. When it goes to combat, I think we're going to cycle at least one Illumination. Because if we get Sweltering Suns, it's so good. Uh, so cycle Illumination. Cycle a Farmland. Yeah, there's... Ooh, Vizier. Interesting. No, wait. Does this mean we win now? One, two... Uh, so we have four mana. Five mana, six... Okay. I think we get to go for it. So tap, tap... There is some fizzle risk here. So four mana, plus one mana, five mana. Okay. So cycle Vizier, untap Lotus Field, draw a card. Tap, cycle Vizier, untap Lotus Field, draw a card. That gets us to six and new perspectives. And now we're off to the races. Chef at monitor gets us a land. We are going to need to hit a way to... Oh, there's Jace. Oh, cycle Illumination. Oh, Vizier's nice. Uh, cycle Illumination, Cycle Haze of Pollen. Oh no, kind of fizzling. Haze of Pollen, Canyon Slough. Hmm, that is awkward. Oh, opponent scooped! <laughs> well, I guess that's the power of the deck that our opponent assumed we were going to win. Honestly, we were kind of fizzling. We hit a lot of non, we hit like almost all of our non-cycling lands. Uh, we would have what? We could have cycled Vizier into Sweltering. I mean, I guess the good news, and okay. It looks like if we kept cycling, we would have hit Shadow of the Grave, and then we would have won. Uh, all right. Well, that shows the power of Lotus Field in this deck, honestly. Like, that is one of the hugest new upgrades, where we just, like, we didn't do much, and then we were able to double Vizier into... New perspectives way earlier than uh, we should be able to. And once we get new perspective, odds of us winning the game are actually super high. That was a <laughs> surprisingly strong performance. All right, sweet, sweet. All right. Against the odds time, we are playing some new perspectives. And, hmm. All right. This hand looks fine. Chef and monitor is nice. We have a lotus field. Ooh, new. All right. Spirits. Interesting. Well, there's new perspectives. Play the planes, pass the turn. Counters are a potential problem. Uh, opponent. Island. Combat. Gets in, gets in. Hits us. Yup. Now, cycle, cast out. Cycle to center's deliverance. Untap. Cycle. Hmm. A cycle renewed faith. Gain some life. Lotus field. Sack some lands. Pass the turn. Opponent. Spectral Sailor. Thankfully, this only counters instants and sorceries, and we actually don't play many instants or sorceries. Untap land for Chef at Monitor would be sweetest. Opponent combat gets in, hits us. Down to 19. Passes. Shadow of the Grave. Well, play your gated farmland. Pass the turn. Hopefully, we're two turns away from winning. Depending on if our opponent has real counters, if they have like Dovin's Vetoes or Absorbs or something, then we're in a lot of trouble. Opponent, chef it, dude. Scott Bat. Gets in. Yep. Down to 15. Tithe taker, sure. We untap. Well, we will cycle chef it monitor. Get a island. Draw a card. All right. Lotus field number two. And pass the turn. Well, I mean, this is it. Opponent shouldn't be able to kill us this turn. The question is, do they have... Oh, no. Self of spirit. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think we just survive even if they chef it, dudes. Like, we go to two? The question is, do they have a real counter spell? That is the, the one and only question. Opponent gets it, hits us. Not gonna sack the chef it, dudes. Okay. I think we still go to one or two. All right, no vetoes, no vetoes, and we win. Uh, so, tap our mana. New perspectives. Oh! Wow. All right, well. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Oh. Wow. Well, bring in... Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is so disappointing. <sighs> bring in another Teferi. And the Supreme Verdict. Go down to Center's Deliverance, Renewed Faith. Oh! Oh! <laughs> wow. The bad news is... Uh, now our opponent 
probably has like a million a million uh counter spells we really need to get the game one and then hope that we get lucky in one of game two or game three because there's going to be a lot more real counter spells after sideboarding and counter spells very uh very bad for us opponent plays an untap land passes well we'll play scatter groves pass the turn opponent untaps plays an island well let's cycle sensor opponent passing all right untap land's not bad untap land means we get to play to fairy bounce tithe taker pass the turn chef dunes for our opponent and tithe taker again opponent passes well take up to fairy play lotus field sack a couple lands pass the turn opponent's gonna be able to kill to fairy though which is going to turn back on counter spells which is not great opponent gets in kills to fairy yup and mausoleum wanderer sure well we untap let's see what we draw sweltering suns well let's cycle chef at dunes get a land draw a card pass the turn we're gonna need our opponent to to either tap out or us to get up so much mana that we can like play to fairy and combo in the same turn all right mausoleum wander opponent combat hits us for five supreme verdict would be sweet opponent passing hmm well chef it monitor get a land draw a card cycle cast out ouch well pass the turn not hitting our land drops we will discard a oh how can we do this one two three four five six seven let's discard haze of pollen land for our opponent empyrean eagle that only leaves up one mana oh is it possible we could get up enough mana to play this through a spell pierce one two three four five six seven Ugh. Hmm. well tap this vizier cycle untap i think we need to untap land or another vizier Ooh. vizier cycle untap to fairy wow this worked out perfectly opponent spell pierces well no we will not pay play a forest new perspectives Still going to need to run kind of good because of this Mausoleum Wanderer. Well, cycle. 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 We need... We need Viziers. Cycle. 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 Oh, no. Cycle. Oh, no. Cycle. Cycle. Where's our Viziers? Cycle. Eh, Chef at Monitor does help. Chef at Monitor. That gets us mana. Mana is what we really need here. Get a island. Cycle sensor. Farmland. Oh, there's our other basic. We're fizzling. We need we need to hit a vizier. <sighs> yeah? The fizzle. Alright. You got us, spirits. Oh, that's rough. The counter spell matchups are rough. Ouch. Alright. Much <laughs> just kidding. Against odds time. We are playing some new perspectives in Pioneer. And we got a new perspectives. Got a couple cyclers, got a lotus feel. Seems close enough. Ugh. All right. Well, uh, let's see if we live long enough. <laughs> Hopefully, this Haze of Pollen should be helpful. Glade Cover Scout and Griff Spoon. Okay. Opponent hits us. An untapped land for Chef and Monitor would also be helpful at some point. Well, Irrigated Farmland. Go. Ooh, we'll see how fast of a start does our opponent have land come on no ethereal armor sentinels mark okay sure so we take four hits us chef at monitor well let's cycle renewed faith gain a couple life we really need to hit another land vizier well lotus field past the turn yeah two lotus fields is a little sketchy here we really 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 need lands about it temple garden Ooh, all right untapped but no auras that's good news we dropped to 12 tower archer okay we untap fetid pools oh i hate wasting this but i think we need to tap vizier untap chef at monitor take a oh we might be able to do it next turn 
take a, I guess it doesn't matter much, take an island, play Canyon Slough. All right, pass the turn. So either our opponent kills us this turn, which should be hard unless their last card is something good. Once upon a time. Okay, gets a four. So even if our opponent hits their best card, which is like all that glitters, I think we live. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we live. Okay, I think we're good. Hopefully. We did have to spend a Vizier to get here, but our opponent's out of cards. We're at three. We have the untapped land, so we get to new perspectives. Um, Yeah, got to play a Swamp. New perspectives. Draw some cards. There's a Vizier. Chef at Monitor. And I think we're good. I think we should be able to win from here. Uh, farmland. Fetid Pools. Haze of Pollen. Sensor. Scattered Groves. Canyon Slough. Sweltering Suns. Illumination. Haze of Pollen. Fetid Pools. Haze of Pollen. Uh, cast Out. Sweltering Suns. Farmland, Sweltering Suns, Canyon Slough, Dissenter's Deliverance, uh, Vizier, Untap Lotus Field, uh, Tap Lotus Field, Vizier, Untap Lotus Field, and then Shadow. Oh no no no, not yet. We have a we have one more cycler. Fetid Pool, Scatter Groves, Chef at Monitor, Last Basic. Now we Shadow the Grave. Get everything back. Uh, go back to cycling. Cycle, cycle cycle and i mean we should be able to just cycle into jason win here opponent doesn't have any way of stopping it we know we know they don't cycle 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 don't need to do anything tricky at this one cycle 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 uh jace where are you our friend wow wait where is jace Okay, tap, cycle. I guess it's one of our bottom two cards. Jays, uh, tap, cycle. That's our very bottom card? Yep, very bottom card. All right, play Jays, and then we cycle. Whoo! Okay! <laughs> Turn five kill! Race in the Boggles! <laughs> got him, got him, got him! All right, what do we want against Boggles? Um, hmm... <laughs> uh, so cards that are good. Supreme Verdict, and maybe the Drake Haven is fine. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's bring in the Drake Haven. Drake Haven can at least get a uh, make some chump blockers. Go down to Center's Deliverance. Go down to Sensor. Run it like that. Man, we are kind of like crushing people with this deck. It's kind of actually really working. I mean, I guess we've dodged counters for the most part, which is uh, one of the bugaboos of this deck, but definitely not going to complain. The consistency of the deck is pretty impressive. Um, all right, we will keep this. Supreme Verdict is nice. Sweltering Suns may also be nice. We mostly just need to hit lands. The good news is we can cycle, like, Sensor and Illumination to try to find the opponent. Untap land in. Glade Cover Scout. Land? Jace, not super helpful. Well, farmland go. I think the big question is going to be, do we get to our Rasp before we die? We really need to hit a land this turn so we can Lotus Field the following turn. Opponent, Season of Growth, okay. And gets in. Land? Well, uh, Cycle Sensor. All right, there's a land. Play the land, pass the turn. We would have rather hit a tap land, I think, but that's fine. Opponent land the season of growth oh my goodness these season of growths are a bit of a problem well opponent yeah uh we will cycle illumination we're gonna be able to wrath i think before we die but the amount of cards our opponent can draw is a big big issue here opponent gets in hits us oh we draw swamp which is actually kind of awkward let's um hmm cycle cast out a lotus field sack two lands Pass the turn. Well, we'll see. These seasons of growth are pretty good. Pretty good against us. About it. Six sets. Oh, they're drawing so many cards. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, all that glitters. So we have to hit the right amount. We needed a Vizier or an untapped blue or white source. Ugh. That's asking a lot of our deck. Uh, opponent is going off. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, these season of growth... <laughs> are not good news for us. Bow it. Passes. If we hit a Wrath, we still have a chance. That does not do it. Huh. 
Okay, so I guess our chance now is cycle into a fog could keep us alive. So we're just going to do it now on upkeep. If we don't hit a fog, we're just dead. Uh, cycle. Gotta be fog. Sweltering suns. All right. Yep. Well, season of growth, that was not good for us. Uh, those really gave our opponent a good chance. We were on the draw that game as well. Do we want it? Hmm. I think we want the sensor again now that we are on um, the play. Sensor can actually be potentially helpful. And what do we cut? Let's not. Drake Haven, that might be too ambitious. Because our opponent could probably, could probably fog us. We could Narset, but Narset is only good against Season of Growth. We'll play first. Ugh. Um, yeah, it's uh, actually too many new perspectives. All right. Well, this will keep. We will put Shadow to the bottom. And we'll see what happens. Canyon Slew go. We're definitely going to need, uh, like, a Lotus Field, probably. Sweltering Suds can maybe be good enough, depending on how quickly we can cast it. Opponent. Fortified Village. Untapped. At. Glade Cover Scout. We draw. Shadow the... Ugh. Shadow the Grave is not what we wanted. Play Scattered Groves. Yeah, we can't even cycle Viziers. I think Lotus Field is definitely our best draw. Temple Garden untapped. Ethereal Armor. Griff's Boon. Uh, untapped Red Source. We get to Sweltering Suns. That would be good. Oh, no. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, this is... This is... This is the nightmare. The nightmare scenario for our deck. There's the Season of Growth. And a Tap Lad. Potent Combat gets in. Hits us to 11. Also grows Glade Cover Scout. Ugh. Yeah. All right. Uh, now we are officially out of outs. Oh, that was rough. That was rough. Well, I guess you can't win them all. And, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. A little disappointing. A little disappointing that we just could not Oh, I could not find the lands to do anything, which I guess is a risk of this deck. In theory, being able to cycle saves us from a lot, but we had all blue cyclers, no blue lands, so... Eh, all right, all right, all right. All right, against uh, the odds time, we are playing some new perspectives in Pioneer, and uh, that sounds fine. We don't have any new perspectives, but... We have some lands, we have some interaction, depending on the matchup, and a Lotus Field. Blooming Marsh for our opponent. Spearmint 1. All right, so hopefully the Sweltering Suns is going to be most excellent. And play a Forest past the turn. We have a surprising amount of interaction for being a cycling tribal deck. Opponent. The question is going to be, do we have to censor here? Yes, we do. Thankfully, we have Illumination to, to uh, refill our hand. Opponent. Gets in for one. Um, all right. Float mana. Play Lotus Field. Sack. Cycle a cast out. Pass the turn. Well, worst case, we can sweltering suns. Opponent forest. Keeping windy constrictor off the battlefield means that hopefully our opponent uh, can't grow things outside of sweltering suns range immediately. Spearmint one. Oh, not another winding constrictor. That would be okay. Pelt collector. Okay. Uh, I'm liking how the Sweltering Suns is looking. Opponent gets in, hits us. <laughs> Down to 18. Sure. Uh, we will untap. Play Irrigated Farmland. Sweltering Suns. See you later, board. Pass the turn. All right. All right, all right. This is looking good. Opponent plays a lad. And Hanger Back Walker. Sure. Well, we untap. We draw. Now we just need to find new perspectives, basically. Let's cycle Chef at Monitor. Get a land. Um, I guess it doesn't matter too much. We'll take an island. Draw a card. Play Canyon Slew. Pass the turn. All right, all right, all right. Now we just need to draw and resolve new perspectives, and hopefully we win this game. Opponent. Rishkar. We might have to cast out Hangerback Walker at some point. Opponent. Combat. Gets it. It's us. Yep. Or we could just draw new perspectives. That would also be easy. Scattered Grooves. Well, let's... Illumination. Draw a couple cards. Cycle Scattered Grove. Draw a card. Um, do we even play a land? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess we can. All right, play. Actually, no, we don't. Pass the turn. Gotta hold on to the lands because we might need to cast Cast Out and Haze of Pollen, and we need to, we need to remain with enough cards that 
we win the game. Uh, we have enough, We have seven in hand to win the game with new perspectives if we draw. Down to nine. Harden scales. Last card. Oh, not Ballista. Ugh. All right. Well, that's not the most ideal. Oof. Wait. Fay of Wishes. One, two. Hmm. Oh, we're very close to just being dead. Well, tap this for blue. Cycle Vizier. Untap it. Canyon Slew. Hmm. Maybe we should have played a land last turn. Cycle Sensor. Hmm. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Play a land. Pass the turn. So I think this turn we're going to Fog plus Illumination. And then hope that we draw into new perspectives to win. Bonus goes to combat. Attacks. So we will add green. Haze of Pollen. Yeah, if we had played the, the land last turn, we would have been able to Fae of Wishes for a Wrath. Well, let's see what we hit off Illumination. Cast Illumination. Draw some cards. Aye, two lands. Okay. Well, uh, sure. That's not great news. Stay at nine. Nissa. Oh, boy. Grows the dorks. Well, uh, come on deck. Show us that new perspectives. Illumination. So, uh, I don't think... Let's look at our sideboard. I don't think there's anything we can wish for. I think we just have to... Like, Supreme Verdict doesn't do it because of these Thopters. All right. I guess we, we have how much, man? One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can cycle twice and try to play new perspectives. All right. Cycle Illumination. New perspectives. Fetid pools. Well, last shot. Cycle cast out. New perspective. Oh, it's new perspectives. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. New perspectives be good. At the last possible draw, new perspectives comes down. Oh, my goodness. That was so close. <laughs> <laughs> now we should be able to win here. Uh, new Perspectives. We get three cycles in hand, plus we get three cards from New Perspectives. Hopefully that finds us more Viziers and Shadow of the Graves eventually. There's Shadow of the Graves. Well, Cycle. We need a Vizier. Ooh, if we hit a Vizier, we win. Cycle. 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 Chef it Monitor. I guess... Ooh, do we have the mana... Hmm, we drew our swamp, get a plains, draw, scatter, can we play a land? No. Hmm, all right, cycle, lotus field, cycle, farmland, come on, vizier. Oh, there's a vizier. All right, vizier, cycle, untap lotus field. Now we should be good. There's the jays, out of cyclers temporarily, but we get to shadow of the grave. Get back everything. And that should do it. Cycle, cycle, cycle. Uh, so we're going to need to... to hmm, how do we do this? Cycle, 18 cards. So we do need to kill Walking Ballista before we play Jace. Vizier, cycle, untap Lotus Field. Tap Lotus Field for... So awkward. Tap it for green. Vizier, cycle, untap Lotus Field. Draw a card. Dissenter's Deliverance. Kill Ballista. Because Ballista could kill our Jace. So yeah, opponent pings us. This is fine, though. Yep, yep, yep. And now we should have it. We should have it locked. Ping, ping, ping. Wow, that was so close. But we got there. Ping, 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 ping. Yep. Down to four. But four is not dead. And uh, we're going to win this turn. So we got the Ballista out of the way. Go back to cycling. I don't think we have to go too much further. Uh, cycle, 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 cycle. Pony has no way of stopping this, I don't think. Cycle, cycle. Uh, this is, this looks like enough. Shadow of the Grave, get back everything. Play Jace and cycle a few times. Cycle, wow. Okay, that was a pretty crazy win. Cycle, cycle, cycle. And we just, we have enough cyclers that we do this through our entire deck. Cycle, untap. Whoo, taking down Harden Scales. And so far, so good for our deck. Three cards, two cards, one card. We don't even need to activate Jays. We just need to sit out there. And one more cycle for the win. Sweltering Suns, you can do the Otters. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, the ver we had two cycles to hit new perspectives, and we hit it on the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that was that was really the game. That was the game right there. Either we hit the <laughs> either we hit it or uh or we don't. And thankfully we did, or else uh things would have went a lot differently there. Alright, opponent's playing green black hardened scale. So I think we bring in to center's deliverance. Go down renewed faith. I think we can go down to fairy, since there's no counter spells in this matchup. Would like to find room for these ley lines. To protect us from Thought Seas and also Ballista Pings. The hard part is we can't really cut cycling stuff very easily. And outside of our two win conditions, <laughs> we we don't really have any other non-cycling stuff. Well, and combo pieces, but but I think protecting our new perspectives from Thought Seas is a, a worthy goal. Oh, maybe we just cut the sensors? This is going to up our fizzle rate. All right, yeah, let's go without sensors. Try it like that. Ley lines over sensors and a Teferi. Hopefully we start with one in hand. Huh. Uh, we will mulligan that. Well, all right. Hands clunky. We will put cast out to the bottom. Ugh. And we didn't hit a uh, ley line of the void. All right. Blooming Marsh for our opponent. And passes. Well, Canyon Slew go. I guess cutting a Teferi... We're going to have to, like, wish for Teferi now to get rid of Leyline. Yeah, this might go a little harder than we hoped. Ballista. Opponent passing. We draw a chef at monitor. Well, pass the turn. Ugh. Yeah, this is, this is a little rough now. Opponent. Maybe we need a cleaner answer to Leyline. Gets in. Leyline is very good against what we're trying to do. Overgrown Tomb. Tapped. Opponent passes. Lad. Well, all right. Scatter Groves, that is a land. We are slowly getting towards where we need to go. Not sure how easily we can win with this Ley Line out, though. That's going to be the issue. Opponent, Land of War Waste. We'd love to just draw an untapped land. Thankfully, it looks like our opponent mostly kept their hand based on Ley Line. Down to 18. And Experiment 1, we draw. No, that is an untapped land. All right. Um, Play the Swamp. Pass the turn. Uh, about it. Stone Coil Serpent. Yep. Grows experiment one. Well, we can just chef it. This is kind of fine. Opponent hits us. It looks like we can just chef it monitor for a red source. And then sweltering suns? Take our mountain. Draw a haze of pollen. Well, let's sweltering suns. Get pinged. Pass the turn. Oh, yeah, this is... We got to get rid of the ley line, really. That is step one. Opponent. Ballista X2. And passes. To center's deliverance. Well, one, two, three, four. Cycle chef at monitor. Get a forest. Maybe we could just win really slowly and fairly, even through ley line? About it. Harden scales. Well, let's kill ballista. Get pinged. Well, we've worked our way through two ballistas. Eventually, we'll find Fey of Wishes, which can get to fairy and bounce ley line. And then maybe, maybe let us win? Uh, ballista again! So many ballistas. Okay. Opponent passes. Well, let's run out new perspectives. Draw some cards. Lotus Field. Sack a couple of lands. Well, Cycle Swelter Exuds. Fetid Pools. Haze of Pollen. Scattered Grove. Haze of Pollen. There's a cast out. That can also get rid of this ley line. Oh, how far do we go? Ooh, okay. Hmm. Can we survive this turn? All right, I think we I think we just pass. I think we can survive this turn. Worst case, if we get really desperate, we can cycle Viziers and get rid of this Ballista. That would be very painful, but we could do it. What we want to do is untap, cast out Leyline, and proceed to win the game with these Viziers and Shadow. Tony goes to combat. Gets in. Hits us. Down to nine. Two cards in hand. What are they? Assassin's Trophy New Perspectives is actually super fine. We actually, we have a second one in hand. We untap. Uh, another Ley Line. All right, so now let's think about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we play New Perspectives. We play New Perspectives. Draw some cards. Oh, we're going to lose a Vizier, aren't we? Well, Cycle Vizier. Us is still sketchy. All right, Cycle Vizier. Untap Lotus Field. Draw a card. Cast out. Get rid of Leyline. 
and go back to cycle egg, cycle illumination, Ugh. cycle vizier, untap lotus field. Hopefully we keep hitting ugh, another ley line. All right, so, um, ooh, this is less than ideal. Float our mana, shadow of the grave. Only get back two cyclers though. Cycle illumination. Oh no. Cycle vizier. Untap lotus field. We really need to hit another cycler or two here. Please, please die. Oh, shadow of the grave. All right, well, uh, run it back. <laughs> <laughs> with just two cyclers. Cycle Illumination. All right, Cycle Farmland. That's a cycler. Canyon Slew. Um, Lotus Field. Sack a couple lads. Vizier. Untap a Lotus Field. Thankfully, we hit a lot of Shadow of the Graves. Oh, another Vizier. Uh, we'll float some mana. Vizier. Untap. Cycle Canyon Slew. Chef it Monitor. No lands. Illumination, uh, cast out, Scattered Grove, Irrigated Farmland, and then tap for black, Shadow of the Grave. Cycle, I think we got it. Maybe this deck is actually good. Uh, cycle, cycle. Actually, can we win with the wish plan? Float for mana, cycle. Get back Lotus, untap Lotus Field, draw a card. Float for mana, cycle Vizier. Lotus Field really improves this deck. Untap, draw a card. Uh, cycle, Fay of Wishes, take Approach of the Second Sun. Cycle, we need our last Vizier, I think. There's Vizier. All right, cycle, untap Lotus Field, Approach, and then Shadow of the Grave. And now we cycle our Viziers, cycle, untap, and we got there! Oh my goodness, taking down Hardened Scales! Yup. Uh, float for mana, cycle Vizier, untap Lotus Field. This is safest in case our opponent has, like, I don't know, I guess Jace is actually pretty resilient here. Float for mana, cycle, untap Lotus Field, and then cycle, cycle, cycle cycle approach and i don't think our opponent has a way to stop at that oh, oh it's working it's working we are new perspectiving people out of this game oh my goodness maybe new perspectives can actually work in this format Harden scales is like a legit top tier deck and they didn't just like have horrible draws they had reasonable draws and we just new perspectives them <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 we'll take it sweet sweet so what do we learn this week about new perspectives combo and pioneer and uh, record wise meh, we finished two and three in our five matches which a little bit below average however boy were we close to getting more wins so we picked up a couple of really good wins we beat hardened scales a top tier deck in the format we beat a affinity deck which is like semi tier in the format then as far as losses we got blown out by spirits which was actually pretty brutal uh game one we had the win opponent one card in hand main deck spell pierce which oh that was very sad and then game two we actually had a setup where we could play teferi and new perspectives in the same turn and our opponent had double answers so they were able to counter to fairy to keep their interaction live and then also stop the new perspectives so that was rough although at the same time the roughness shows one of the challenges with the deck which is counter spells are really good against it i think when veil of summer was legal it would be absolutely absurd in this deck to the point where i might play some copies in the main deck it's just like that insane in this deck uh, we gotta kind of try to piece it together with like teferis and stuff which is a little rough we also had a game against mono green eldrazi where we lost a three game match and one of our losses if we do a landing game one we just win we had everything set to win it was either win that turn or our opponent would beat us down with field of the dead zombies we didn't win that turn we did draw the land or the lotus field to allow us to uh, combo off so all this to say 
even our losses were extremely close. Like, if a few other things broke our way, we easily could have went 4-1, 5-0 with this deck. Obviously, they didn't break our way, and that is a story of magic. Not everything's always going to break your way. And admittedly, new perspectives combo, the bad news is it can fold to interaction. A, a ton of discard thought seizes, really rough against our deck. Main deck counter spells or counter spells in general, really good against our deck. So that's kind of the challenge of new perspectives. The upside of new perspectives is the combo itself is normally really consistent. We had like a game we lost with mana trouble, which I guess happens with a five color mana base, even with all of our cycling. But the deck is pretty consistent. We were consistently winning like turn five ish, and that's not a bad rate of speed. So if our opponent's just trying to play fairly, not play counter spells, beat us down with creatures or whatever. Thanks to Sweltering Suns, Haze of Pollen, it's very possible that we can buy ourselves a turn or two, just play our new perspectives, win the game very consistently on turn five. So the combo itself, if our opponent can't interact with it, is very, very strong and very consistent. We have some tricks to try to like win through disruption, but that is the challenge of the deck. Disruption is a problem. The other side of the deck is it's super cheap. It's 145 bucks, so it's almost just incidentally a budget deck or close to our budget price range. And that's not because I'm trying to make it cheap, it's because it just happens to play a lot of cheap cards. Cycling lands and tons of cyclers and Lotus Field. So we just kinda incidentally have a cheap deck. So I think the new perspectives is close to being competitive in Pioneer. The good games are really good. It does its thing very consistently, but it does tend to fold the interaction, thought seizes, counter spells. That's where things go wrong. So I think it's very close to being good. And even looking at our matches, our two, three record, Oh, we were like a land away and our opponent not having main deck spell peers away from maybe being like four and one or even five and oh with the deck rather than two and three. So I guess it was encouraging that even when we lost, it wasn't like we lost horribly. We lost really close matchups where our opponent just had the right thing or we didn't have the right thing. But in a different world, maybe they wouldn't have it. We would have it and we would have won those games. So even our losses were super close. The deck is really fun, really unique. The only other problem with the deck is it's very repetitive. You're doing the same thing every time. The thing you're doing is very cool, but in some sense, it's kind of like a novelty style deck. You do get some interaction thanks to the cycling cards, but really you're trying to find new perspectives, trying to hold as many cards as possible to turn it on, and then just cycle for the win. And that's kind of all the deck does. There isn't really a backup plan other than new perspectives, cycle, win with Jace, or win with Approach of the Second Suds. So it does get a bit repetitive to play, but it's certainly spicy and and it's cheap and it's unique and I think that makes it a pretty good against the odds deck even if our overall record slightly worse than I would have liked so anyway that's my new perspectives that's my our against the odds for this week thank you so much for watching I hope you all enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.